Hello, I am Tomáš from Capturing Reality and today I will show you different methods of how you can scale your models using Reality Capture. In this episode we will go through the most used methods for scaling your components and models. First we will talk about distance constraint, then how you can utilize detect markers and import constraint, how you can scale your scene using laser scans, BLK 3D format and georeferencing using map view. Please note that georeference models are scaled automatically, but if you do not have real-world position data, you can use any measured object in the scene to scale it. If we are talking about large scenes, it is a good idea to use multiple constraints distributed across the environment. Distant Constraint The simplest way to scale a scene is by using the Distance Constraint tool. This tool is accessible in Alignment tab, then going to Define Distance or by pressing F4. Using this tool, you can define the distance between two control points. This tool will automatically create two control points and distance between them. When using this tool, you want to find some sharp edges, ideally on the ground. In my case, I am going to use edges of the building. Click on one edge and drag it to another edge. Now in the 1DS view, click on distance 0, which is basically the measurement I have just created, and set define distance. You can also define how accurate you think your measurement is in the accuracy settings. Please note that these two control points must be assigned to two or more images each. I'll show you a fast workflow which we recommend. Ideally, you want to find images where both control points can be clearly seen. Do not use photos that are noisy or blurry. Select the first input under point zero and if you don't see the blue color symbol near the photo, press Ctrl 1 on non-numeric keyboard. Now select 2D view and press Ctrl 1 to append blue color to this view. You can also go to image context tab to select the blue color here. Press left mouse click on the point zero to activate target mode. Now I move the control point to a more accurate position and press down the arrow key to confirm it while still clicking and holding left mouse click. If you want to be more accurate you can also zoom in and out by using mouse wheel then repeat the process for the point 1. I will speed it up for you. You can also create a control point first by using a control point tool. Later, when you will be using define distance tool, your clicks will be snapped to the control points if you will target them. Just remember to zoom in a little bit to not create another control point on the top. Release the mouse button and confirm the creation. Now click on align images to create a new precisely scaled component. You can also click on the update if you only want to change the scale of already calculated component and models under it. Detect Markers If you want to skip the control points creation, you can also use a Detect Markers tool to create control points automatically. Navigate to Alignment tab and under Constraints select Detect Markers. Select the marker type, a minimum number of selected markers per input and image layers from which should be markers detected. If you already have a measured constraint, you can just import it from a file. This is how the format should look like. I'm going to show you how you can create such a file. This is an example of using a space separator. When importing the measurements, you want to name the control point the same way as they are named in the target description. Reality Capture will name them automatically according to its marker ID. The first row is the name of the measurement. You can name it whatever you want, I will name it front constraint. Since my separator will be a space, I can't use space in the name. Second row is the name of the control point from which you want to start your measurement. The third row is the name of the control point which is ending point of your constraint. I'm going to copy these names from Reality Capture, but you can also find them directly on printed markers. The fourth row is the distance in meters, which is in my case 0.125. Now save the file and import it as distance definition with space separator. Note that even after import you can edit these values in the settings. Now press align images to create a scaled component. I have a one more tip for you. If you want to verify if the component is scaled, select your component in 1DS view and in alignment report find metric. If the value is yes, your component is scaled. You may already know, but when you import your laser scans, this will scale your scene automatically. For example, there I have a set of photos without any scaling information, and I want to add scale to this scene using laser scans. 
After importing laser scans and aligning them together with images, I can create one scaled component without a need to use distance constraint or control points. Using Leica BLK 3D format. Similarly, as with laser scans, we can work with Leica's BLK 3D data. Let's import a .cme file as image sequence. Since this small device has a measured stereo pair of cameras and we were also using its group mode during capturing process, after importing a CME file to reality capture and aligning images, a scaled component will be created. Georeferencing using map view. If you know where your object is or you can find it using a navigation application, you can also georeference your object using map view. Open the project in Reality Capture, zoom to its location using Map View, activate Control Points tool by pressing F3, and define at least three control points on the ground. Now I need to assign photos to corresponding control points in 1DS view. I will do it by clicking at plus icon near photos. Using plus symbol method will not be as accurate as verifying each point through 2D view, as I have shown earlier using distance constraint scaling method, but it is great when you need a fast result. Now select the point 0 in 1DS view and try to assign the point to the same location using map view. Basically I am trying to select the same control points on the ground in the map view as I have previously used in 3D view. Then repeat the process for point 1 and point 2. Now when I am done with it, I'll press align images to create a new scaled component. In this process, the model will also get georeferenced. This option is great when you need to approximately position your model on the map and you don't have any other data like ground control points or GPS data. Note that you are only able to set X and Y coordinates using this method and height will always be set to 1. But you can change this value in settings afterwards if you know its height about sea level. So this is how you can scale your model in reality capture. Keep in mind there are even more methods like using XMPs, GCPs, flight logs and more. For more information head to our help section by pressing F1 inside reality capture and search for scaling. I am Tomasz and thank you for using reality capture.